Hi, today we're going to talk about the mechanical drawing in NX. Uh, it's going to be made of a two parts. One is the part mechanical drawing. The second one will be the assembly drawing. So after this uh, tutorial, there will be following tutorial, uh, which is assembly drawing. So let's start. First, um, we already made this part in all your stages, so we are going to use that part. And we already made the assembly drawing, the radio engines. So you, we are going to use the assembly drawing, uh, assembly that you already made before. So I'm going to start with the part. Right, so here's a completed part. Uh, so I intentionally gave datum sketches so that you can see the part only. All right, so when the part is out, to make a mechanical drawing of this, so we are going to have front view, top view, right side of view. But in the process of doing so, uh, you will see the sum of portion is not uh, activated, such as a hidden line and so on and so on. So I will show you how to manually change those um, options. So first, now since you open the part, is a uh, modeling environment. Matter of fact, we it's the first time we switch the environment, so actually if you go to applications and there is again currently a modeling mode, so if you press the draft and you, you will be able to shift. So as you can see there are several others as well too. So uh, to start the drafting, of course to applications, drafting. If your application is not available, right click then there is application you can turn on. So make sure it's turned on. And you'll be able to access the application and turn on drafting. Again, then right away, uh, it will start asking you the size of a paper you're going to use it. Uh, there are several options, but in this case, we're going to use a template, which is already provided by um, the Siemens. And with the size of a part we already have, I think A2 will be the best fit. But the setting can be changed. Uh, there are several, a couple ways you can do that. But my preference is a base view command. So that I can start with the base myself, and I can use a projected view and any other views myself. So as soon as I as say OK, then you will see a, a populated title block, which is okay. If you zoom it in, you can see the title block is already um, made it by Siemens. And first issue by, drawn by, those information can be key in anytime. So, um, so you can start with the say first issue uh, is by. Again, author of the book, the NX9 for designers. So, Dr. Shep Tiku, so S. Tiku, let's say that. And drawn by your name. So, first name and your name. And checked by um, your TA. And proved by, let's say, my name. There you go. So if you click, then right away the base view will pop up. So the paper is waiting for you to put this um, drawing. Now, as you can see, um, as a default, the top view is showing up here. So I am going to change to from view. There we go. And this is what I like to have. 
and located probably left and lower, but I want to use the lower space for the note. So I'm going to use about right there. Now, of course, you can change the scale but by yourself too. If the paper is too small or too big, depending on the need, you can change any time as well too. So, full scale is the first one. So this is a base view because uh, I start with the option of start with the base view. That's why I'm getting the right away this screen. So click. Then right away, then the option will change the project view. So if you move your mouse to the right side of a base view, the first base view you have, then right view, top view, bottom view, left, and even accelerate view. It's very simple procedure actually created by Siemens. So I'm going to have a right side view, or so I'm going to have top view. Click. And close. There we go. And now, as you can see, it, uh, smooth edge is visible as a default also, which is not uh, favorable for the metric with drawing. But at least uh, some of the edge lines uh, are also visible as well too. So as you can see, for center lines, so I left there. So if you like to turn on or create a brand new uh, center line instead of this smooth edge line, we need a couple works to do. The first, let's turn on the hidden lines of the each view. So to turn on hidden line, you have to move your mouse on the frame. Right click, go to setting. Then there is a hidden line. Change it to right now is invisible. So we're gonna turn on and say apply. And you can see it, the hidden line will appear. Now, I like to have a center line here, so I will show you how to add a center line based on the hidden line, which you didn't have before, that's why you don't have it yet. Alright. So, again, like I mentioned, it, uh, this smooth edge is not necessary again it's not a little better favorable for the mechanical drawing so I'm gonna turn off the smooth line which is between flat surface and curvature surface so tangent so I'm gonna take it out that tangent line so smooth edge and I'm gonna turn it off and apply then you can see the smooth line will be gone and okay so this is pretty good Okay, so from view done, hidden line has been edited, and smooth edge has been uh, hidden. Same thing with this one. Setting, hidden line, change to hidden line, and smooth edge, I don't want smooth edge. There we go. Same thing, settings, I don't want smooth edge, hidden line, I want line. There we go. Good. Then again, I need a uh, couple center line here. It's made by this hole right there. So to do that, the best way is um, right there. Right now, the your default is a center line. Center line. Change that as a 3D center line. Then 3D add line will ask you where, which object would you like to use and add the center line base. So if you move your mouse, there we go. Then you can see it is picking up. Click. Click. And right away you can see hidden line will be added based on this hidden line which is presenting the hole. And based on those whole surface, it made a center line. So same thing right here. Right here. 
So we got the, all the lines we needed. The next thing we're gonna do is adding the dimensions. I uh, recommended you use the same setup as uh, uh, the exercise two over chapter six of the Dr. Tekusu book. So we have all front, the top, right side of the dimension already exists. Uh, one thing you notice is as soon as you start making dimension, as example, the radius of uh, this edge, then you can see it's a little bit different than usually we see in, uh, in America. Uh, so, uh, because this setup is ISO, the International Standard, so we're going to change those standards. To change the standard, you can go to menu right here, menu, tools, and there's a drafting standard. So depending on what kind of standard that you are using it, the, the way of putting dimensions, the way of putting the uh, other symbols in the drawing will be slightly different. So let's use a drafting standard. And then uh, right now, uh, ISO again is the standard we apply. So I'm going to change it to ASME. Okay, if you say OK. So from now on, whatever dimension I put in, it will be, uh, it will met the requirement of ASME. So then I can start a couple of them. So example, uh, linear distance between this edge to the center of the center line. Then you can see as you keep going down, 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 and we eventually it will snap into the first recommended distance. Then also you can force to relocate your dimension, but again at the center, it will snap in. Click, and you got the dimensions. Then again, here to there. Here to there. Then I want to have this one for the radius, this one for Oh, this one for radius, this one for diameter. So it was a radius. So here we go. Oh, I want radius. So we're gonna change manually radio. There we go. Then I have another one to do. Click okay radius bar I'm following. I'm changing to diameter. Right there. All right. Again, as you may notice that uh, this dimensions, in some reason, is too thick, way, way too thick. It's not the ASB standard, matter of fact. So to change that, you can just simply uh, resetting. Go to the uh, line arrow, line change it to let's say a uh, point one three. And you can see it looks much better. I don't know what's the what's the causing this. But again, you can again manually change any time as you want. Okay, there are a lot of stuff you could you have option you can change it as well too. Let me do a couple more settings. There you go. Looks much better. All right. So the same way you can finish the whole dimension needed for the top view and right side view. Then after that, uh, usually. 
I put the uh, so isometric drawing at the corner as kind of a, a reference. So if you want, you can add another base view. And right away it follows. So I'm going to change the base view instead of top isometric. Instead of full size, I want to put maybe half size. And I can locate it. There you go. Close. Now also, I want to have... Again, you can see everything is kind of a thick line. I don't know why. So I could change if I want. Properties. Another property. Again, uh, frame setting then you can go to visible line so, so as you can see now it's a 0.7 millimeter I don't know why then go back to maybe 0.18 apply up to the heat center line well in this case I don't need a center line actually you can individually change or delete as well too now let's say I want to make this one is more uh, look real. So actually, you can if you want, you can change even to perspective view. And another thing you can do is um, the way of a render. So you can go to shading instead of wireframe. You can go to fully shaded. If you want, you can give more detail into the shading. Let's say we draw by. Say OK. Then you will have a very nice rendering of a shaded view. Alright, so once it is done, again, the beauty of the NX uh, drafting in the NX, the drawing will be inserted as a part of a part. It's not a separate file. It will be inserted into the part so later, if you need to work on the, your part again, let's say size of a hole or, or, or size of one of the features and it be modified it, you can just again go back to applications, model, you can change whatever you want. As an example, you can change the whole size. Let's say that you change it to uh, 40. Okay. The, Right now is a bigger hole now. So if you again go back to drafting, then you can see it. And some of the changes I made is not applied to my drawing yet. So you can actually right click, you can update all those uh, one by one. So let's say I update it. Then it will check through the changes, then it will apply to the all the views associated with those changes you made. So you can see it, the diameter right now, instead of 32 it was, I believe, then it's now it's 40. So again, if you want to go back to the modeling, application modeling, there's a part. And you can modify back, let's say 32. And again, if you go back to drafting, you can see it, everything's across, that means it's not up to date. Right click over the papers, option number one, then update, then again you will check through, and the changes will be applied automatically. Alright, that concludes the, uh, this demonstration. There will be next demonstration which is doing the same thing, the mechanical drawing, but instead of a part, we're going to do assembly. Thank you.